Hi everybody, in this video I will be walking you through Project Lead the Way Activity 5.7 and in this particular video we are going to be going through the second bullet point of the traffic cone problem which is trying to figure out what is the minimum density material needed to achieve the minimum weight. Before we go any further, let's recap the fact that in the previous video we did find out that the weight of the cone needs to be at least 12 pounds. So what we're finding out then, what we're being asked is, if that cone weighs 12 pounds, what's the density of the material being used to create the cone, okay? So, again, 12 pounds, we figured this out last time. Go back and watch the other video if you want to know how we got this. But here's what we know. If the traffic cone weighs at least 12 pounds, and we're being asked to solve for the density, then probably, probably what we should be doing is going to the form of the sheet and looking up, like, do we have a relationship somewhere between weight and density? And it turns out if we scan closely down at the bottom of the third page, there is a section that relates mass and weight. And in fact, it's this third formula right here that says the weight is equal to the volume times the weight density, which is what we're being asked to solve for. This is the volume you want, or the formula you want, excuse me, formula 9.3. But here's the problem. If I want to solve for D in this equation, that means I better have W and I better have V. In other words, we need the volume of the cone in order to solve this problem. Well, this is where things like Autodesk Inventor or Autodesk Fusion 360 come in handy because with CAD modeling software, we can build this and we can use the software to tell us what the volume of the part is. So I've already done this. If you want to know how to create it here, uh, you know what? I don't want to show you how to create it. You can figure that out, okay? There are a lot of different methods to go about this, but here's what you need to do is once you have the cone built, okay? And notice, by the way, that it's hollowed out, okay? Make sure that it's hollowed out. On Fusion 360, I um, don't know what that was, okay, on Fusion 360, the way that we figure out the volume of the cone is by going to body properties. We come over here to bodies, we go to body one and right click on it and we choose properties. If you are an Autodesk Inventor user right now, just know that you need to go to eye properties just like you did back in earlier in unit five when you did the determining density activity, okay? Go to eye properties in Inventor. For us, we click on properties, and it pulls up the body properties, and we can see here the volume of the cone is 253.522 cubic inches. So you should have something in that ballpark, and my students were right around that when they made it by themselves. If they were slightly off, I didn't, I didn't really care that much, okay? 253.522. So let's take that number, and let's go back to the formula sheet and take a look at what we can do with it, okay? So weight is volume times density. 12 pounds is the weight, that's volume times density, and now we know that the volume is 253.522 cubic inches. So if I take that 253.522 and I divide it out to get the density by itself, I end up with a density of about 0 0.04733 pounds per cubic inch. That's because I took pounds and I divide them by the number of cubic inches. So that's how you do this particular problem. And then the next problem, we'll talk about like, what do we do then? What does that mean? What kind of material is it? Okay, that'll be the last problem for the traffic cone in this series. Hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in class.